Mystical Love and Light here. All things spiritual. This is a video on how to, and I have my notes because I wrote notes so I don't forget what I want to say. How to fight depression. Do you live a life of depression or considering suicide? Now, I feel like right now, since this is 2022, this is a time to discuss depression. If you are in one of those um, states or countries that is having big depression issues because of the current situation of what's going on, Maybe you had a slight thing of depression before and now it's gotten out of hand. Maybe it's a reoccurring uh, thing. Maybe it's um, due to the moon cycles. Um, if it's just due to being in the house all the time, whatever the case is. First, I want to put in a disclaimer. I am not a doctor. I'm not pretending to be a doctor. These are my thoughts and these are some of the things that I have mentioned to people that says they have depression. Um, I want you to, if you can, some people are ashamed for anyone to know that they have a bout of depression. The depression was ever a part of their life. If you can, and if you feel comfortable enough, put a comment down below stating your depression issue and how you have, I want, I don't want to say how you beat it, but how you have come to deal with it. Because maybe others watching this video will learn from your comments. Okay? Um... Again, I have a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. I don't pretend to be a doctor. I'm not going to give you advice that you have to follow, you know, every step that I say. These are just some things. Now, if you've watched enough of my videos, you know how I feel about doctors. I will also put a disclaimer in here, too, that if you feel you need to see a physician, you do it. You take it upon yourself to do it because everybody is different. Okay? I'm not going to sit here and tell anybody not to see a doctor. That is strictly up to you. You are a spiritual be being. We all have different paths. And so if you feel you need to see a doctor, then you need to see a doctor. Especially if you're considering suicide. Okay? Now, with that being said... If you don't feel uh, strong enough to combat this on your own, then seek a doctor for medical help. Let's say I've written stuff down because I don't want to forget things or leave things out that I feel is important to pass a message on. If you feel you want to deal with it on your own, but you're thinking about killing yourself, reach out to a doctor first. Tell them what you are thinking. Tell them what you, even if you don't want to use the word suicide, let them know how depressed you are, okay? If you don't want to take any medication, if you want to take medications for the doctor, by all means do it. But if you don't, let the doctor know how you feel. Let the doctor know you want alternatives to the medication, you know, more natural stuff. Talk to them. And see what they say, okay? Now, reach out to the doctor first. Think, uh, think about suicide is nothing to be playing with. So if you're thinking about it, you have gone way down, okay? You can always try home remedies after that. Through his... Um, looking into your situation on how your mind is, okay? 
Maybe you feel you you can't afford the cost of a doctor or you have no insurance that will cover it or you have insurance that will cover very little and you can't cover the rest. Or don't believe in doctors or too ashamed to go to a doctor or have the doctor to realize you have to realize just talking to one may give you alternatives that you're not thinking right now. Because if you're that depressed, you're thinking of suicide, your brain is not comprehending normal thoughts on how you would be thinking if you were not depressed. Okay? And if not, at this time, you want to combat, combat this with home remedies, uh, lifestyle changes in the beginning try it okay now there's always natural alternatives but you have to be also careful on what you take do your research now even though i'm going to be going over these do your research 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 <clears throat> Change your daily routines to consist of more outside activities. Nature walks. Walks to meditate. Think about the things that make you happy or the people and memories that make you smile. Do this in a daily routine. Go to beaches, parks, the woods. Go see wildlife. Go to zoos. Any place where you can think. Now, keep in mind, if you are depressed... And you have friends around you. I'm sure your friends have told you all of these. And in the morning time when it's time to get out of bed, you're like, I don't want to do that. Or you're crying. And by no means do I want to minimize the pain that is coming from. You have to force yourself to get out of that bed. People can suggest things to you all day long. But if you're not ready to make the change, you're not going to do it. Nobody can force you. I'm pretty sure it's illegal to tie your ass up and haul you to the doctor. Okay? You have to be at the point that you have to seek help. Now, for anybody that says she don't know what she's talking about, she ain't never gone through this, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something about myself. I'm not even sure that I've even spoken to my husband over this. I probably have. Unless it's crossed my path sometime, I've probably not even mentioned it. <clears throat> but a very long time ago, long, 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 long time ago, um, when I worked at the prison system, the men's death row prison system, I had a bout of depression for a very short time. Had nothing to do with working at the prison system. But can you imagine being depressed and working in a man's death row prison? Okay. Now, I never compl uh, I've never um, thought about suicide or taking my life or anything like that. The depression came from um, my mother when she passed away. Within just a couple of months, my stepfather had passed away. And then my friend slash co-worker that worked with me at the prison was beheaded. So that took a toll on me because she was a very loving person. She was like me. She worked there because she had to have the money, the income, the insurance. And so that took a toll on me for a, for a bit. I didn't even, I didn't even want to leave the house. I mean, it got to the point that when I showed up for work, because you can't show your feelings working in a place like that. And it started to show. And at that moment, I knew I was in trouble. So my late husband, now he know he knows that I don't go to the doctors. Like I say, my disclaimer, I'm not telling you don't do it. Okay. My lay husband did go seek a doctor on my behalf and got some medication. So he comes home. He tells me, take this as prescribed, blah, blah, blah. 
do not under any circumstances the doctor says to try to take myself off of it because it's very powerful and it's too hard to wean yourself off of it okay I took that medication for approximately two months. It might have been a little bit less than that, but right around in there, okay? And I thought to myself, what the hell am I doing? That's not me. I am such a spiritual person, and I believe in healing my body and so on and so forth. Doing things to make your body um, to where you don't have to take that kind of stuff because the side effects are ridiculous ridiculous freaking ridiculous okay so i'm just telling you this so that you know that i know where i'm you know where things are coming from okay so i thought to myself i ain't gonna seek a doctor for this medication even though i took it because my late husband saw that i absolutely needed it so for him to try to help me that's what he did so after two months, around two months, a little bit before two months, I decided I ain't taking that. I'm taking control of myself. I am my spiritual self and I know how I am and I will no longer take it. So my late husband said, remember, the doctor said, don't wean yourself off. You need his help because it's very dangerous to try to get yourself off of it. I said, I don't care. I will not take it again. And from that moment that that came out of my mouth, I did not take it again. I'm going to go over some things that helped me. You see a doctor, you follow your path. Maybe these things will help. Depending on where your depression is, you might not need a doctor. Or you may severely need a doctor if you're, comp 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 if you're thinking about suicide. Compliment. Compliment whatever the word is. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, even if you are on the medication or whatever, think about these things. Okay. Think about them. All right. Sleep. Sleep pay, plays a big part of depression. Some people may be feeling depressed and technically they're not even depressed. It's a sleep issue. So think about these. Sleep, not so much, but not too much. It's a kind of a medium thing. You don't want too little sleep and you don't want too much sleep. Both are not good for your body. So you have to find that happy medium, okay? A decent medium ground sleep does wonders. A good sleep will do wonders. Set goals for sleep times and wake up times. Don't overstay your time in bed. When it's time to rise, get out of bed. Start your daily routine. Even if you have to make yourself. Staying in bed, especially when crying, is just prolonging the depression. You need to have, set your time. Okay, set your time. What time are you going to go to bed? What time are you going to get up? Now, your routine actually starts 30 minutes prior to you going to bed and about 30 minutes after you have gotten up out of bed from that time that you set, okay? Make your room dark and quiet. No TV, no radio, no phone. You wake up and you get into okay you want to okay let's start before you go to bed 30 minutes before you go to bed turn the tv off turn the radio off turn your phone off for heaven's sakes mute it or something to where you're not disturbed 30 minutes before you go to bed okay you want this quiet time. You want this time to quiet your body down, to settle your body down, to calm your body, to calm your mind, okay? Then, when the 30 minutes is up, you go to bed. Now, you set an alarm. Don't have no TV on in there, no phone in there, no none. Set your alarm for a specific time. 
Don't make it 12 hours or 13 hours that you set your time, okay? Everybody is different. Some people can exist very happy on six hours. Some people need eight hours, okay? Set your time frame. 30 minutes before, you're going to calm your body and your mind. And then at that time, you're going to go to bed. You're going to be in bed. So whatever you need to do, brush your teeth, take a shower, if they have it all done before that time is that you have to be in bed. From the time you set your alarm to wake up, you get up, you give yourself 30 minutes to get up. If you need to brush your teeth, whatever you do, drink you a cup of coffee or two. And after about 30 minutes or so, it's time to get out of the house now if you're working you're going to be out of the house but if you're not working you need to get out of the house okay that's where your routine starts get you a routine going and stick with the routine if you're working you work around that routine if you're not working you set that routine and you stick to it. It's the only way you are going to get out of that depressed state. I know. Okay. I know. I know all about it. Okay. Except for the suicide part. I didn't, I didn't go there because I didn't let, allow myself to carry on that far. I stopped it before it went on that far. If you're already there, you can easily do something about it. And then very slowly you'll start seeing changes and then you'll be back to where you need to be. Okay, so let me find where I'm at here. Okay, so during the time that you wake up, and I say, you know, if you're a coffee drinker, if you're a, uh, a tea drinker, drink you a couple of cups, it's okay. Don't overindulge yourself with caffeine. Other than the okay couple of, cups in the morning the rest of the day don't take in no more caffeine not even caffeinated though some teas have a lot of caffeine in it um chocolates any products that have caffeine in it sodas get rid of all of that those even though they're caffeine you don't want to be up high on the caffeine and it'd be a false thing in your body. And you think, oh, I'm feeling pretty good today. No, it's the caffeine that's doing that. You need to be in touch with yourself, with your body. You need to know what your body is doing, what your mind is doing, what your heart is doing, what all of your organs are doing. You need to, to feel that, okay? Now, also too, you need to take some vitamin D. Vitamin D plays a big part in depression because most people pull in a lot of vitamin C from the sun, from the sun rays. If you're not getting out of the house, you're not getting those sun rays. Therefore, you're probably deficient on vitamin D. You need that vitamin D in your body. Okay. Take vitamin D supplements. Remember, I'm not telling you as a doctor. I'm telling you as a YouTuber. I'll put it like that. So the vitamin D supplements for are for all of your, your health, for your whole body. Research natural herbs and essential oils that may help you to get through your rough spots, such as St. John's Wort, Omega-3 Supplements, but always remember to research everyone. Even though something might be good for me, might not be good for you. Because my food diet may be different than yours. My intake on any other things that I take, maybe a different herb or whatever, may be different than you. Research. If you're going to take any kind of herbs, essential oils, or anything research them. If you're going to take a secondary something, research it and see if you can take them both in your system at the same time, if there's going to have any counter reactions or anything. Research. I can't tell you what's good for you because you are not me. 
but I'm giving you ideas on to what to do and what to research and what you could take. Okay. That's what doctors do. They'll write you out a prescription. They don't know for sure if it's going to help you or not. They'll find out down the line when you come back and say, that didn't help me. Then they'll write you out a different prescription. Because they're pretty much, this is how I see it. You know your body better than anybody else. But you have to be in touch with your body to be able to detect what's going on. So don't mix anything without researching it. If they affect you negatively, when um, talking and when taking other supplements or herbs or what all. Don't keep your condition bottled up inside yourself. Without discussing with family members or friends, they can help and make suggestions. Now, if you're going to talk to your family members and tell them, let them know what you're feeling. Let them know what your pain is. Let them know what your thought is. But if they make suggestions, don't let it be empty suggestions. Okay. Listen to what they're telling you and try it. You may have three different people telling you something. And maybe out of 10 things this one person's telling you, maybe the one is what's going to be to help you because it's a combination of things. So maybe this one over here, something they suggested will help and so on and so forth. Do and listen to what other people are telling you. They love you and they want to take care of you, but you have to be able to want to take care of yourself. That's what I tell people about prayers. You can't just say, God, heal me, and then turn around and smoke your life away or drink your life away or take drugs. Why in the hell would anybody want to help you if you're not even willing to take care of yourself? Listen to your friends and family. Take their, their suggestions seriously. And if you're not sure about what they're suggested, research it. Never put anything in your body or do something to your body that you haven't researched. That's why it's called a suggestion. Don't rule their concerns out. Spend more time with them. They can keep you busy and that will keep your brain concentrated on other things that's positive for you. Now, I know some people's going to say, I don't have any friends around. I don't have any family around. Well, that's where you come in. You have to make it a point to do things yourself. Like I say, you have to want to do it. Go to the movies by yourself. Go out and eat by yourself. Now, some people might say, oh, well, that would be depressed alone. No, you're getting out of the house. You're doing stuff. That those things help because all of these little things add up to a big thing. You're you're probably not gonna see it because your thinking isn't there, your thinking is is off. And you might not see it, but in, in time you're gonna start noticing it. Just stay in touch with yourself so you're allowing yourself to notice it. Because you are a spiritual being. We're all spiritual beings. Tap into your spirit side of yourself. Ask your spirit de deities for help, no matter your religion or belief system. Whatever you believe in, whatever your religious belief is, whatever you follow, ask for assistance to help yourself. Ask your higher self for assistance. Ask them to help you during meditation practices. Or before, you know, you fall asleep. To help with your mood and well-being. You can ask at any time, but make a point to ask for help. Now, a lot of times people will ask during meditation. Which, I will go over some of that here in a little bit. Now, you don't have to just... Ask when you're going to go to bed or when you're meditating. You can ask at any time. 
Remember, your guides are there to help you. They're not just going to jump in and go, oh, she's in trouble. Let me help her. No, you have to ask for help. Because when you ask for help, when it comes out of your own mouth, that means you are making an effort to help yourself. So you have to ask. But when you ask, you have to be ready to receive. You have to also help your body along in receiving that and doing what they are getting you to do to better your life, to get rid of that depression, to get rid of those moves, mood swings and your behaviors and your, your thoughts of how you're thinking, okay? Don't ask for help the same way you would ask your friends for help and not take their suggestions. If you're calling upon your deities, your guides, your angels, your guardians, whoever, listen to what they're telling you. This is nothing to be ashamed about. So many people are going through this right now. And they've gone through it before these last few years. And they'll continue to go through it if they don't make changes in their life. We all have to help one another. That's the reason I'm making this video. Hopefully somebody will see it and maybe try a couple of suggestions. Maybe they'll research, you know, certain things and go, oh, I need to try this. These things, they can help lower your negative thoughts, your reactions, your stress levels, including blood pressure. If it's elevated due to stress, place, you know, being placed on your body, be mindful in your meditation and to improve your well-being. Now, there's different ways of meditating. And one of them is to sit in a quiet, dark room with your eyes closed. Concentrate on your breathing. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Okay? You want to be comfortable. Sit how you're comfortable. With your eyes closed. Ask the universe to come into your body. Ask the universe to heal your depression. Be specific when asking the universe to heal your mind. Ask the universe to heal all of your negative thoughts. Ask the universe to heal all parts of your body, what you're feeling that is contributing to your depression. Don't say, just say, heal me. Be specific. Be specific. Because you are telling your body, you are calling upon the universe to come in to help your body. So you have to be specific and tell your body, universe, I need your help. I need you to clear my mind of any negative thoughts. Get the thought of suicide out of my head. Come in and cleanse my head. Anything that's negative that does not be, need to be there, turn it into a mist, into a smoke. Pull it out through every pore of my body and get rid of it and release it out into the air away from me. So you have to be specific on what you are asking the universe to do to help you. Remember, while you are asking all of these things... Remember to continue on focusing on your breathing, okay? In through your nose, out through your mouth. And you do it slowly. Don't do it fast. Do it slowly. Take several, I don't want to say minutes because some of you will be like, mm, don't hold your breath. No, take your time. Take it in slowly and release it slowly. 
that's also helping your lungs and your circulation. So after asking the universe to heal all aspects of your body individually, then you ask the bright light for help. The bright light, the sunlight, ask it to send radiate, radiating healing sun rays to flow to every cell in your body. This is the way that I pictured in my head. If you're asking the sun, if you're asking that light, that white light, that protective healing light to come in to your body, to every cell, just imagine every cell that is in your entire body. I picture it as water flowing through a stream and there's rocks. I picture those as cells. I picture the water as the bright healing light. As it goes over and through the rocks, everything is getting wet. It's going through everything, okay? And then what does not need to be there, you want it to dispel it out of your body, out of your pores. Get rid, get rid of that, okay? And at the end of all that water going down, what I'm seeing the bright light, when I'm asking the bright light to go through all the cells of my body, at the very end of that water is a big flowing beautiful water puddle in the case of all of your cells being cleansed you're taking it all from your fingers from your head from your arms from your feet from your legs from your knees your hips your thighs all of it and you're bringing it to the center where your stomach is three inches behind your belly button and that's where it's going to accumulate that's where you are going to be healing as it is going through all of you and that's where it's going to collect at. okay now leave in the comment section if you want me to do a nature video on doing this like outside in nature let me know and i will do it so that you can actually see or hear me say the words on how to do it, you know, and all of that. So leave a comment below if you want me to. You don't have to say don't do it, but if you want me to, leave a comment. Along with leaving a comment, if you have any depression issues, how you're combating your depression, how you are bettering your life so other people can read. It's not so much for me to know. It's so other people that's viewing the video We'll see it and maybe they will learn something and maybe it will help them. Okay. So remember these techniques besides doing them in, you know, in the dark, sitting down, meditating. You can actually do them out in um, nature also. Okay. I do a lot of healing meditation, not meditation, like sitting down in the dark like that. As far as that goes, I do that, like outside standing up and visualizing everything that I want to do. Um, a lot of people call it chi, qigong. Okay, so remember you can do that out in nature. Also, walks is a form of exercise. You need to get your exercise in. I'm not talking about doing jumping jacks and all of that. Start off slow. Start off walking because then you can accumulate your thoughts, clear your mind of negative stuff, and bring in good stuff, things that you're seeing in the neighborhood, things you're seeing outside, whatever. Um, exercise helps combat depression and, and mood swings. Um, you want to feel the fresh air. You want to smell the fresh air. The sunlight does wonders for healing. So besides the vitamin D, to get that vitamin D in your system, try to spend as much time as you can outside to soak in that, you know, that sun. In the winter months, you can still go outside and walk, bundle up real warm, you know, always stay safe. 
and um, you can still do your walks outside. Focus on focus and reflect on areas of your body that needs healing. Stay active. Fatigue doesn't set in if you are active. Yes, it's tough, but nothing comes easy to anyone. Just think about it and stick with it. And if you have a friend close by, ask your friend to walk with you. But doing it by yourself is a doable accomplishment also. So don't let that be a reason not to walk. Oh, I don't have any friends. I don't have any family close by. Get out and do it yourself. You'll be proud of yourself for doing it. Please avoid alcohol. Alcohol is a depressant in itself, and it's just going to depress you more if you consume alcohol. You might think you can forget about your thoughts for a while, but it's going to make the issue worse. You don't need it. Don't, don't drink it. Don't use it. <clears throat> it may cause you to do things that you normally would not do because it inhibits your mental thinking. Especially if you're thinking of suicide, the alcohol is just going to make it worse. It may compromise your body if you're taking any medications, herbs, supplements, etc. So maybe those won't even work if you're taking the alcohol. Always eat good for your body and brain to function correctly. So you need a good nutrition uh, eating habits to help you get through this depression. So to function correctly, deficiencies can lead to worsen your depression. Do your research on foods such as nuts, fish, foods for the brain. <clears throat> know to change your thinking when negative thoughts arise. Change your thoughts. Think positive thoughts. You can do this. You can. You can do this. Everybody can do this. Buy you some plants. Have yourself circled with plants. If it's a garden outside or plants, you know, inside. Plants is therapeutic and reduces stress. <clears throat> Helps with your concentration. Decreases anxiety and depression and overall health. Use beneficial plants. Lav you know, um, lavender, mint, anything like that that you can also incorporate into your good eating habits. That's great for that. Be around people, family, and friends. It, key, it helps to keep your mind positive. But pick people that is sociable and not a downer. Don't go out somewhere with somebody that you know that they're negative. It's just going to pull you down even further and offset your depression even worse. Be with upbeat people. Get a new hobby or hobbies. If you don't know what to do, heck, go to Hobby Lobby or one of those kind of places and walk through every single aisle and look through the entire store and see what's there and what you might be interested in. Find new interests to learn. Slow, uh, just start slow. Look to see what interests you. Who knows? Maybe you're going to become an expert or something that you didn't even know anything about or what to do. Maybe you found it in a store and you were like, I think I'll try this. Whatever it is. Hell, crocheting. Who knows? Putting models, cars together, puzzles together. You know, start slow, simple things and work your way up. Sell them little boogers when you get them done. You never know. TV is depressing most of the time. Good Lord, don't put it on the news. Heaven's sakes. Find... Find a radio station that has music that you're interested in. Something soothing and calming that you can listen to. Every person on this planet is different. Find things that interest you and start slowly and work your way up to be a better you. Call upon your higher self. I hope this video helps some of you out there. Some of you will be so depressed and you're like, I'm not trying all that. I No, 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 no. Well, that's you copping out because your brain is already set. But you can reset it. 
Anything that's set can be reset. Reset your brain into thinking and bringing in other positive things that you can do. I know you can do it. You can. You can do it. I might not know you personally, but I know you're a spiritual being. And you can do it. I trust in you that you can do it. So, comment below if any of you have any kind of techniques that you think might help someone else that's reading this. You know as well as I do, so many people may watch a video and not comment, you know, whatever, but they're reading it and it might make a difference for them to read it. Maybe they'll try it. Also, if you want me to do an outside video on um, calling in the uh, universe and calling in on the light, the sunlight for yourselves, let me know. I would do a video on that outside. Okay? So thank you for watching. Mystical Love and Light here. All things spiritual. I hope this helps some people. Blessed be. Bye. Oh.